one of the most unique parks I have ever visited is Gatorland in Florida. If you ever visit Florida or happen to live there, one of the things you'll learn is that Florida is famous for its alligators. They're everywhere. They own the state. One of the rules of living in Florida is you assume that any small body of water has a gator in it. And if you can't see the bottom, you don't jump in because you're liable to encounter a gator. You just learn to deal with them. One of the neat things that Florida has actually done is it has kind of embraced the alligator. Even so much so that if you go to Kissimmee, Florida, just outside of Orlando, there is actually a really unique park there called Gatorland, where they embrace the gators, they teach about the gators, they show them off, and also educate you a little bit about Florida wildlife as well. When you first arrive at Gatorland, the very first thing you're going to see is the big giant gator jaws outside of the building. And that's gonna kinda let you know that you've arrived. This is your landmark, and once you go in, it's all about gators everywhere. Gators as you walk in, feeding ponds for them, places that you can actually go out and see them out in the huge lake that's there. You get to see them sitting on top of each other, sitting on top of turtles, and just kind of enjoying themselves. You can actually feed the gators if you want. There's observation posts where you can drop out hot dogs. You can also see a lot of other animals there as well. They've got a big selection of local wildlife as well as some exotics. So you'll see macaws, you'll see other Florida birds, you'll see flamingos, you'll see other reptiles including snakes and giant boas. You'll get to see albino gators. I mean, who's ever heard of an albino gator? And yet they've got a few of them here at Gatorland. They're really cool to look at. They've even got their own living facilities. There really is a surprising and really amazing amount of things to be able to see in the park. They've got a whole place you can walk out around where you're walking out into the swamps and getting to observe what natural Florida looks like while teaching you all about the animals that live there, teaching you what the Florida ecology is like, but at the same time it's a fun environment. They've even got a train that runs all the way around it. One of the neatest shows though is actually their Jumping Gator show. Here they have a couple of people come out and put on this really silly, dumb routine. As part of that, they actually show you some of the abilities of the gators to be able to actually come out of the water and eat. They hang out, cut chickens, so quarter chunks of chicken, and get these gators actually coming up out of the water to eat the chickens. And just a really kind of a neat educational show after that, of course, you can head on out to the observation post. What's really neat about this observation post is it's actually built out over the water. So you can look right down upon the gators and see them interacting with the wildlife or just plain sunbathing and enjoying the environment. They're well fed. They only let you feed certain foods. Don't drop in other stuff or uh, they'll encourage you to retrieve it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that either. They've also got a really neat show where they show off a lot of the other wildlife. The tarantulas and other reptiles are there. They get the audience involved. and It's quite fun watching some of the reactions as they introduce people to the animals. We particularly really like the nature walks where they take you out into the mangroves and you get to see the trees and the cypresses and the... Uh, swamp system. It's a really pretty walk where you get to see some of the native wildlife that's there as well as some really pretty extras. So it's a great opportunity to do that. It's just really pretty to walk around in. And of course you get up close and personal with a lot of the gators as well as some of the others. The tortoises, the flamingos, the reptiles. Now, if you've got kids with you, there's stuff for them as well. There's a great playground for the kids to be able to play on. And when we went on field trips, the kids had an absolute blast. And the petting zoo is also a really neat stop where you get up close and personal with all sorts of different critters, including deer, sheep, 
the cows, the goats, but also a number of others that you may not get close to in other petting zoos. And hey, you gotta make sure you say hi to Cuddles. Hey, don't worry, it's not real. <laughs> but the big highlight of Gatorland is the Gator Wrestling Show. They start off the show telling you the story of what a Florida cracker is and where the name comes from. It's from cracking bullwhips to herd cattle. But then they actually let a member of the studio audience, usually a kid, come out into this little arena that's surrounded by gators and let them pick out and point out a gator. They will then pull that gator up out of the water on the side and up onto the land, dismissing the audience member first, of course, give you a good look at the gator, show how well they can handle it, how they know how to hold it, do a few poses that look really scary, while also letting you look inside of the gator's mouth. They even show how much gators like to sunbathe. And that they're ticklish. Yeah. <laughs> it, this really is the highlight of the park. But it gives you a really neat look at the gators themselves. And you can even come out and pose sitting on top of one of them afterwards. Yes, they do tape the mouth shut. And they'll even bring out some of the other critters that they have there so you can get a nice up-close personal look at them as well. So that is Gatorland in Kissimmee. It's a really neat place. My kids loved going. I loved escorting field trips when I was living down there. And we just had a great time. So if you want to get a nice up-close look at Florida wildlife, a unique look at Florida, and a place that's really been around for a long time, it almost gives you the feel of one of the old roadside stops from back in the Route 66 days, Gatorland's the place for you. We loved it, and we have fun going about once, twice a year when we live down there. So that's a look at Gatorland, one of the most unique parks I've been to. Have you been to some unique parks? I'd love to hear your experiences. Have you been to Gatorland? What did you get to see that I missed? Although it's not that big a park. It only takes about half a day, three quarters of a day to see everything. So you can see it fairly quickly. Have you been to other places that kind of reminded you of Gatorland? I know, in fact, there used to actually be one that was right by Knott's Berry Farm out in California years ago. And actually got to see that when I was a kid. But unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of it and very few memories of it except doing it. But I'd love to hear your stories. Feel free to share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel. If you want to know more about me, Patreon, my web pages, my merchandise, be sure to check the description below. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. <laughs> Try to get my video stuff done so I can narrate with it. Stop. Go where I tell you to. People know what you're doing around the gators. Who is texting me? Stop it. Ugh. It's out over the... Gosh. Seriously, stop! Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> okay, let's try this on airplane mode. My son, five messages! Stop it! <laughs>